Welcome back to TalkersToGeeks.com. Justin here, back with more comic book reviews. And today we are going to be reviewing Bloodline, Daughter of Blade number one. As always, I give you a brief synopsis. So here we go. It's in her blood. Riel Brooks is a good kid, no matter what her teachers say. It's not her fault she's developing vampiric superpowers and the undead want to brawl. And as if problems at school aren't enough, Bree's got a wild side ahead of her. She's about to discover she's the daughter of the infamous vampire hunter and daywalker known as Blade. Obviously, this is from Marvel Comics. And actually, I really did enjoy reading this. I thought that this was going to... I thought this would be a little bit more action-packed, but the first issue does a great job of establishing Brie, the people that's going to be in her life and her characters, and really establishes the relationship Brie has with her mother, which I thought was pretty, pretty damn good. And I like... though I just like her character so far. She is someone who's really... Um, in the beginning, you can see that she is really into sports. She's athletic. Um, she really has this really kind of honest relationship with her mom. And then as we fast forward a couple of years later, she's a little bit more rebellious. She's a little bit more into herself, but she's also still has that strong relationship with her mother. And it's when a situation happens when they're coming home from having dinner that Brie and her mom is attacked by vampires. And this is just a minor spoiler. The mom pulls out a stake and helps defeat the vampire, which makes Brie question, one, how did my mom have, why does my mom carry a stake with her in the first place? Two, how did she know that there was an existence of vampires? And then three, who is this guy, Eric and why is she constantly keeping these type of secrets? So I like this kind of dynamic that they have between these two characters of Brie and her mother. And I thought it works very, very well for the first issue. It does a great job of world building. You don't see Blade until the end of it. And Blade is on a mission right now. But you get to see a really, I will say that it's a mother-daughter type of issue one. We do get hint of um her friends in school some side characters wasn't really too much of a fan of them they kind of fall into some of the typical character tropes like this one guy um i forgot his name but he is i, I think it's the either the girl or the guy i can't remember but that one of them is into smash and in, in the smash gaming tournament and things like that so they fall into kind of like the, the nerdy trope or the outcast type of friends and I would say some of the dialogue in one of the action scenes was a bit cringy, like, and not cringy, like, oh my God, this is like, quote unquote, woke, but cringy as in a way is like, oh, wow, this sounds like something from the 60s type of comics where like there was one, there's literally a dialogue where she's fight, fighting the uh, the vampire and she goes, oh, that, um, take that creep, uh, creepzilla. And you're like, uh, it's like, no, it looks like Brie gonna have to work on her superhero puns because that one is just cringe. It's just like, uh, I, I would have definitely not wrote that for the, especially with this type of character. She doesn't sound like she'll say something like Creepzilla or something like that. That's just me though, but that's just that's just literally nitpicking. Art style, I really did enjoy too. I think the art was um pretty good. I like the aesthetics here. Um, I like the colors and use it and. I like how even when at nighttime they do a good job of uh, lighting the darkness and things of that nature. But overall, uh, Bloodline, Daughter of Blade, it was a pretty good read. I enjoy it. I'm definitely going to pick this and keep um, keep this on lock because I'm actually curious now about Blade's lineage and Blade's family and now Blade's daughter who will be named Bloodline down the line. But I'm curious to see what Bree's going to do, how she's going to discover her powers, how she's going to interact with Blade. How's Blade going to be receptive to his daughter and things like that? So this is what I'm really looking forward to the most. So I will definitely recommend it for this week. So this is Justin from TacosTheGeeks.com saying let it days. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on TacosTheGeeks.com, by all means, as always, browse what we have here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, check out our UW. Every 
uh, every Saturday our WWE 2K22, about to be 23, uh, live stream of UWL Saturday Night Slam. We do an original universe mode, so make sure you support and check that out. And later days, we'll catch you in the next review. Peace.